historic mission to the moon and the launch of India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. It was supposed to be a moment of celebration. On August 23, 2023, India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft made history by becoming the first mission to successfully land near the moon's south pole. The entire nation rejoiced. Scientists at ISRO erupted in cheers. And across the world, headlines praised India for joining the elite space league. But behind the scenes, buried under the applause, was something else. Something quietly unsettling. Within hours of Vikram Lander's touchdown and the Pragyan rover's deployment, mission controllers noticed something strange. A data stream, encoded, jittery, unlike anything in their models, began transmitting from the rover's underground radar. At first, it was dismissed as static interference from the moon's harsh environment. But as engineers filtered the signal through multiple diagnostic systems, a pattern emerged. It wasn't random noise. It was repeating. A pulsing echo that sounded almost rhythmic, like a heartbeat. Vikram's onboard radar had penetrated deeper than expected, much deeper. Instead of just mapping the lunar crust, it had reached a chamber buried beneath the surface a hollow cavity, and from that cavity, something responded. Engineers were stunned. The moon, thought to be geologically inactive, was returning signals that didn't match any known natural formation. Was it a trapped pocket of energy? A magnetic anomaly? Or was something inside? ISRO quietly informed a few international agencies. NASA, ESA, and JAXA sent encrypted requests for telemetry access. Over the next 48 hours, teams from across the world began reviewing the signal in secret. That's when the panic started. The rhythm wasn't just consistent. It was intelligent. The frequency of the pulses corresponded to binary code, and when decoded, it formed a series of repeating sequences, ones and zeros that appeared to be mathematical constants, pi, the golden ratio, prime numbers, and then coordinates, coordinates pointing deeper into the lunar crust. Something beneath the surface of the moon was either emitting, reflecting, or worse, responding with data. The public didn't know yet, but scientists inside a locked conference at ISRO's headquarters were now facing a terrifying question. Was Chandrayaan-3 the first mission to make contact? The coordinates decoded from the pulses led ISRO to run a deep scan of the moon's southern polar region. Using Chandrashan 3's ground penetrating radar, they re scanned the area beneath the landing site. The results stunned everyone in the room. Approximately six kilometers below the surface, beneath a dense layer of lunar regolith and rock, the scan revealed something geometric a perfectly symmetrical hexagonal structure, roughly the size of a football stadium. Its walls appeared unnaturally smooth. The structure seemed to have corridors, or shafts, extending from it in multiple directions. Lunar geologists were speechless. No natural process could have created something with such precision. And if that wasn't shocking enough, the interior of the structure returned a signal bounce, meaning it was hollow. The word artificial floated in the minds of every scientist, though no one dared say it out loud. The rover, Pragyan, was redirected toward a nearby crater wall aligned with the coordinates. As it climbed the slope and pointed its sensors downward, another anomaly triggered alerts. A metallic resonance buried beneath the regolith. Not just any metal, an alloy not found anywhere on Earth. The composition included elements that should not naturally bond together, 
some of which are unstable in our atmosphere, yet here, preserved beneath the moon's vacuum, they were intact. As news of these discoveries trickled in, India's Space Commission placed a total media blackout on new data from Chandrayaan-3. Press releases were sanitized. The public was told that the rover had simply detected minerals. But behind the scenes, global space agencies were now in active collaboration and panic. NASA proposed launching a high-resolution satellite to image the location. China, suspicious of the blackout, accelerated plans for its Chang'e 7 lunar mission. Roscosmos offered deep lunar imaging tools, and private companies like SpaceX quietly offered delivery options to the site. Because if this really was a structure, an artifact, it meant only one thing. We were not the first to land on the moon and perhaps not the first to live in this solar system. Then came the final signal from Pragyan, just minutes before it went dark. It wasn't a sensor reading, it was a sound file. A low, thrumming resonance, like a hum mixed with something else. Some say it sounded like machinery starting up. Others say it sounded like breathing. Then the rover went silent, forever. As Chandrayaan-3's data was reviewed across space agencies, the evidence became impossible to deny. The moon was hiding something, and India's lander had stumbled upon it. The structure's location beneath the South Pole was no accident. That region is permanently shadowed, cold enough to preserve materials for millions, perhaps billions of years. It's also the one place humans have never explored deeply. Theorists erupted online. Was it a crashed alien base? An ancient outpost? A signal beacon designed to activate once discovered? Some even speculated it was a prison, and the heartbeat-like signal was keeping something asleep. But the real alarm came when scientists fed the last recorded sound from Pragyan into AI audio pattern decoders. The waveform, when mapped against known linguistic patterns, resembled a warning. Multiple language models confirmed it. The tone mirrored primitive forms of human speech. And the AI's translation? You are not alone. Do not wake it. This final detail triggered emergency meetings between world leaders. An emergency joint session of the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs was convened the first of its kind. For the first time, human civilization officially had to consider the question, what if we're not the first intelligent species on the moon? And worse, what if we just activated something? NASA released a vague public statement about interesting subsurface formations. ISRO maintained radio silence. But deep within private channels, a plan was already forming a multi-agency lunar mission to return to the site and uncover the truth. Elon Musk tweeted a cryptic message. Some doors on the moon were meant to stay closed. Conspiracy theories exploded. Former NASA employees claimed they were told of this in the 70s. One alleged that Apollo 17 astronauts had once picked up similar signals but were ordered to ignore them. But even amidst the chaos, one fact remains. India's Chandrayaan-3 has changed everything. It discovered something not just ancient, but possibly alive. Humanity has always looked at the moon as a dead rock, a silent witness to our history. But maybe we were wrong. Maybe the moon has watched others before us. And maybe, just maybe, it's watching us now.